Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Romany. Hello. Hello. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Romany. If you're new here, hello, hi and welcome to my channel. It is the 1st of March. How did that happen? January. Poof. February. Poof. We even had an extra day in February. And uh, poof. Gone. Literally disappeared. So yes, it is the 1st of March and do you know what? Today, well, no, yesterday I was actually sat in my car and I was thinking, do you know what? As from Monday, I'm going to get shit done, okay? I'm going to do like new um, exercise stuff. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I had a whole plan and I thought, do you know what? Why wait till Monday? Because Monday never comes, in all honesty, does it? Monday never comes. It's always, well, maybe next Monday. Not feeling it this Monday. We'll do it next Monday. So, no, 1st of March, we're doing it. So, um, let me just give you a little, let me just talk at you, okay? I'm just going to talk at you, get everything out, and and then we'll discuss, okay? So, basically, I am terrible at overthinking stuff, and I... I overthink far too much and I get very overwhelmed by things. So I can, for example, I will be, I want to lose weight. Just this as an example, okay? I want to lose weight. So instead of um, going in it slowly, I will go in guns blazing. I will go like, right, I'm going to, walk 20,000 miles <laughs> a day, I'm going to drink five gallons of water, I'm only going to eat raspberries and blueberries with some low-fat yoghurt for breakfast, I'm not going to eat any lunch, I'm not. Um, I'm going to eat a salad for dinner, um, five gallons of water, and after two days I've not lost a single pound, I'll be like, well, that was a waste of time, and then I'll just go back to um, just like, oh, I'll have a packet of crisps and a chocolate bar for lunch then. Fuck you if you're not going to, you know, help. You're not going to do anything. That's that's me. I, um, ins I'll put a plan in place and it's a perfectly good plan. Then I will get overly excited by the plan. I will overcomplicate it. Then I have overcomplicated it far too much. I've... Uh, I've tormented it into my brain that oh my god this is far too much this is not what I wanted and then I won't do it at all so what I'm getting at is from the 1st of March which is today I'm going to invent little wins basically little wins I need to get my shit together okay I've been kind of stuck in a a bleh kind of just plodding along Plodding along nicely, but just plodding along, not really going anywhere fast, not getting anywhere and not expanding. Yeah, you get me, you understand, hopefully you do. So basically, from today, I am going to um, do like some exercise, just a five, ten minute thing. Um, I might do some weights, I might do... Um, just a bit of yoga I've downloaded or, you know, saved loads of pins on Pinterest of different 30 day exercise things. You know, it could just be do a 30 seconds of planks and something and something. OK, so I'm going to do that. I'm also wanting to sort out stuff. OK, if you are like me, I do you know, obviously work all week and then I will, um, I don't, I don't want to spend my day off cleaning and doing household shit. Okay. I don't want to do that. So I do the minimum. Might sound awful to you, but during the week I will just do the minimum. I will do the hoovering, the washing up, the cooking, the, um, putting some stuff down the toilet, giving that a good old, <laughs> Um, and, you know, plump the pillows on the sofa, maybe redo the, the throws. I'll put some washes on and stuff like that. 
but I never get round to doing that, pull the sofa out, or I'd ra very rarely pull the sofa out and hoover behind the sofa. You know, that boring shit. I don't want to be doing that. Um, but I'll get it into my head on one of my days off and I'll be like, right, that's it, I'm blitzing the kitchen. And I'll spend all day blitzing the kitchen. And then I'm like, pissed off. I spent my whole day off blitzing the kitchen um, and not done anything fun. Okay, so we're going to do little wins. So there must be things in your house, there is, in mine, absolutely, that you keep looking at going, oh, I really need to... The Tupperware cupboard in the kitchen. The one that falls out every time you open it. You shove stuff back in it. The Tupperware cu cupboard, okay? I cleaned out my Tupperware cupboard after about 30 years of going, oh, I need to sort that shit out. But I cleared it out the other day, okay? It took me to about, like 20 minutes. I was like, wow, I've been putting that off for forever and realised that it doesn't actually take that long. OK, that's what I'm talking about. These little wins and just chip away at the bigger jobs. OK, so just go into a room and go, oh, you know what? That's been bugging me. I need to do that. And do it. Just just do it. OK, <laughs> I know it's easier said than done, but just do that. Don't go into the room and go, oh, man, I need to clean the windows, I need to do the skirtings, I need to do that stain on the carpet, I need to wash this, I need to do that, I need to do that, I need to do the entire house. No, okay? We're just going to do little wins. Um, so today I walked into the bedroom and realised that I still had the advent calendar box from Christmas, obviously, because it was advent calendar. It was still in the bedroom. I was like, right, keep on saying I'm going to throw that away so I grabbed it and threw it away I know it sounds really stupid okay but I was hanging on to it for what for no no reason whatsoever so I've thrown that away I then thought you know what I do need to organize my candles so I am going to do that um I was going to do that today but I actually have just gone to home bargains i nearly brought more candles honestly i don't know what's wrong with me but i just went to home bargains because i wanted to get some cleaning products get all my cleaning products and get everything up together again um because i want to clean the kitchen and the bathroom and sometimes things just fall into place i.e i this morning was like right i'm gonna take get my caddies put them on the kitchen side and have a look and see what I've got. Throw away any bottles that are almost empty and just have a look and see what I've got. Well, because I did that and because I took the caddy out of the kitchen under the sink where the kitchen one is, I had a quick clean and tidy of that. Took me five minutes. Uh, so, yeah, things just fall into place and you'll see that you'll get jobs done Um and it's really satisfying to get jobs done. And it is important to have a, you know, a happy medium of fun days and and fun times, family times and stuff like that. It's important to have all that done. I don't want to spend my whole time working and cleaning and doing not fun things. Um, there is loads of stuff that I want to do. And I've got it all up here of loads of not just cleaning other things as well like I keep saying that I'm going to swatch all of my makeup palettes you know so why don't I just do that why what am I waiting for I just need to do it um I don't need to do them all at the same time just one palette three seconds it's going to take me so it's stupid things like that I want stuff that I want to get done I need to get done and March is going to be the month to get this shit done Okay, let me take you into the kitchen and I'll show you what I've just brought at Home Bargains. Right, so these are the caddies that I'm on about. They're really nice and deep. I've already started doing the bathroom one because that was all stuff I already had. This is all stuff under my kitchen cupboard. And um, in this bag is all the stuff that I have purchased. I'm really sorry. I am just literally talking at you. But I know you'll get it right. Let's see what I bought at Home Bargains. First thing... 
was this. Okay, it's not a cleaning thing at all, but it's an interactive feeding mat. And this is for Summer, my dog, obviously because she would scoff her food. She scoffs her food in about three seconds and she's already got something like this, but I've got her one of those as well. It's $4.99. Uh, I warn you, I spent about 30 odd quid in home bargains. <laughs> All right, stock up of unstoppables because they smell bloody delicious. Now, I will say, I've been trying to, with your unstoppables, I just wash things like um, bedding and like uh, the throws on the sofa and, and things like that um, with that because that's the stuff I want to be long lasting smells of greatness. Okay. I've got these. These are the Dark Garden Escape. That's the scent, Garden Escape. The refills, I've already got one of those. This, these smell amazing. I already brought the other day this, the toilet cleaner. Can I just say as well though, can somebody invent these bottles, reinvent these kind of bottles because these are shit, okay? Why is no one talking about the fact that these are absolute rubbish? They leak all the time look you can see it leaks and when as soon as you go to like go to pour it okay it always squirts out all over your toilet seat first just saying okay i got some elbow grease these are elbow grease power cloths i need some more cloths some more wipes these are what uh sea sapphire and juniper Got some some milk. Shove that in the fridge. Do some washing as well. One was out. Some floor wipes. Some glass and window wipes. Some more wipes. <laughs> some elbow grease glass cleaner. Um, for the windows and everything. A monster that's not for me that's for tom that was 69p margin uh, it's a sugar-free one so shut up we'll probably share that we won't drink he won't drink the whole can himself and i won't drink the whole can myself so we'll share it these elbow grease this is foaming toilet cleaner these are so good and they smell so good as well um just pop it in leave it for a little while and scrub that beast uh, I also bought one of these, a duck garden escape um, toilet thing. You can see what it is, so don't fall down the side of the page. Okay, uh, some toothpaste, because I needed some toothpaste. Some Astonish, I've never used this brand. Astonish bathroom cleaner, white jasmine and basil. These are vegan and cruelty free. Never used that, so hopefully that will be good. Um, some magnesium um, tablets, so you mix with water. Help support natural muscle function. I get really bad restless legs, um, and I know somebody said magnesium is really good for that, so I'm going to give that a go. I've brought some a tin of peas, <laughs> some, some cat food. Everything I bought. Oh, these! Nobody shout at me, but I got these advanced teeth wiping strips. Probably not actually going to use it, but they're only like two ninety nine. Uh, peroxide free, zero gum irritation. I'm going to try those. I don't care what you say. Um, and very lazy, I know, but these are very handy, and they're only fifty five p in home bargains rather than a ridiculous amount everywhere else shepherd's pie mix these are coleman's uh spaghetti bolognese mix sausage casserole mix chicken casserole mix and a chili con carne um and that is it right so i'm just gonna pack these two caddies with everything that i need and then i'm gonna take the bathroom one back in the bathroom and put the kitchen one back under the cupboard and win that is a little win i have stocked up now and i can get some cleaning done so i have packed this is the bathroom one got some cloths 
Um, I showed you most of the stuff, so I've packed the bathroom one. That was a um, air freshener, and I've got another cleaner, and yep, that toilet thing. Um, some uh, more cloths, and in the kitchen one, didn't really buy anything as such for the kitchen. I already had most of the things there already, um, and apparently. I love Sephora <laughs> and I've got quite a few bits and pieces for carpets and um, and the floor. So I am sorting out my candles. Here is a quick overview of said candle collection. I think that's all of them. I just need to sit and sort them out. Yes, I have my snooty on because it's freezing. Right, let's have a look at some of these candles. So I've got a variety i've got yankee candles all is bright oh it smells delicious but look it's not got much left christ almighty it's hail stoning like hail stoning hold on let me let me show you yeah that's my bin uh yeah there is <laughs> it's hail stoning where were we? Let me put you down. Right, so we've got candles. So that's got bit. So I need to prioritise these candles. Um, yeah. So I keep that one, but I need to prioritise and use that one up. Hot cross buns. Oh my goodness! This is the Wickford and Co. That smells bloody delicious. I'm not getting rid of that because i love that one so much and i will use that very soon because you know easter right i'm gonna get rid of that one that is the pumpkin chai and it's just a tiny bit at the bottom <sighs> smells bloody amazing but i will buy a new one come um halloween time right this is a wickford and co one and this is frosted vanilla doesn't smell of absolutely anything. I think that that's done its day. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Gingerbread. Oh my God, that smells bloody amazing. This is a Wickford & Co one. That's quite a new one. So keep that one. I'm just trying to think actually. Yeah, they do smell different. The, wick, uh, the gingerbread one is very strong. It smells amazing. Okay, another Whitford & Co. Screamberry Punch. That does smell nice, but it's only got a little bit left and it's kind of lost its its smell. Um, this is a Pacific Wax & Co. This is Cozy Cottage. And that's got quite a lot left. So, keeping hold of that beast. All right, this is the Yankee Candle Candy Cane Forest. It's gone a bit funny. It's only got a little bit left as such, as you can see. I'm going to get rid of that one. Oh, look at me go. I didn't think I could ever do this. Right, this. Just get the um, dust that's settled on the top there. <laughs> Smells of nothing. It was meant to smell of orange and star ants whatever it is um i got this from next bloody years ago it's more of a ornament i'm gonna keep it because i haven't used it at all it's more of an ornamental okay this is i got this from tk max whiskey and smoke sand and fog inspired on the california coast Oh my goodness, it smells, kind. it's got like a honey kind of smell to it. We do like that one, so we're going to keep that one. This again is covered in dust. This is a Habitat one. Doesn't smell of anything. I don't know what it was meant to smell of. I've had it for quite a while. I think I'm going to get rid of it. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of it because it's done its day. This is a citronella one. Oh, uh, that is for mainly outside to um, get rid of the not outside, mainly for the summer, I was meant to say, um, for the 
mozzies and then that's and shit like that. Right, this is amber wood and musk. I don't know what make it is. This is from Habitat. Smells delicious. <laughs> that looks wrong. It's a three wick candle. I haven't had it very long. We're going to keep that one. Um, this one I got from Home Bargains. It's Candy Cane Lane. It was meant to be like a dupe for, sorry, it's um, Evergreen Spruce. It was supposed to be a dupe for the Bath and Body Works candle. Um, I don't think it smells that strong. Um, I also got, I think dropped it, fuck my life. Um, I also got the candy apple. Uh, they smell nice. Not the greatest. It doesn't fill your room of smells. So I'll keep them, but they're not that fabulous. Uh, what is this one? Cranberry orange scented. <sighs> doesn't really smell of anything. I'm going to keep that because I have this in my bathroom. Am I going to keep it? Yeah, I'm just going to keep that one. Uh, I have this one in this fancy box. This was from Aldi and it's leather and cashmere. That smells delicious and that was a birthday present. So I am not getting rid of that. I haven't used it yet. This one is a Polywax Potions Pumpkin King. Pumpkin Spice and Pecan Pie Soil Wax Candle. Smells amazing. So that is definitely being kept. It's still got quite a lot in it because I only put it on when I'm in the bath. Um, this is Roses and Sandalwood, again from Sand and Fog. You can definitely smell the roses. It's a three wick candle. Keeping that one, that was a Christmas present. Not this Christmas just gone, the Christmas before. Right, this is Winter Spring. Spice fragrance candle. I don't know where this Dunham Mill. I haven't even lit it yet, as you can see. It's still got a little thing in there. It does smell nice, so I'll keep that one. It's quite a cute looking candle as well. Uh, this one is uh, just wellness. Oh, from Asda, and it is in the scent Relax with white iris and citrus. Smells delicious. Still got loads left. Keeping that beast. That is also a nice little one for the bathroom. Um, this one is Soothing Sea. Soft and fruity and refreshing. Uh, fresh marines embraced by sun warmed red currants. Blended with zesty mandarin fruit and creamy coconut milk. It's quite nice. Quite a nice little jar. Um, and I have that in the bathroom as well. And this is probably my favourite candle ever. This is Dusk and it's 96. And I mean, look at that. How amazing is that? All right. And we've burnt it for God knows how long and it's still got about half left. Oh my God, and it smells like a fucking sexy man. It smells like a sexy man. It smells amazing. Oh, yes. It's got that aftershave smell. Oh my God, it smells amazing. Right, so I didn't cut them down as much as what I thought I was going to. But get rid of five, which five is a good five. Um, that is my little sort out for the day. I'm, I'm pleased that I've done that. I was putting it on for ages and what? It's taken me not even 10 minutes to, and that's because I've been talking to you. If I hadn't have been talking to you and going for it, oh my God, here comes the hailstones again. I would have got it done within about five minutes. So yes, I'm going to put these back in their areas and a double win. Obviously I'm going to clean the areas. Of which they were once stood. Were once stood. Yeah, whatever, you know what I mean. Um, so it is doing silly little things like this. 
five minute little jobs that you put off and you end up, it, you know, there's a little chain reaction and you end up doing something else as well because, you know, like just a minute ago, I put the caddies back in the kitchen and bathroom. I washed the bathroom floor where the caddies are going and in a bit I'm going to go back in and wash the rest of the floor off. Might as well. Um, yeah. So I'm quite pleased for today. I still need to do my exercises. Um, and I'm going to write my list. I'm, I'm going to do a bit backwards today because I'm going to write my list in a bit in my diary of what I wanted to do today. Um, but other than that, I will start my day off writing my little list of what I want to achieve that day. Um, anyway, happy March. So let me know if you had any little wins today, what you did in respect to your little wins, your little start off for the month. And um, if you haven't already, subscribe. And I will see you probably tomorrow with another little win. All right, see you later. Bye.